We've come to a race winning uh, endurance championship team here called Jota. We're here in Tombridge Wells. They're not only a race winning team though. Look at this, you guys have got a full machine shop, Ryan. Yeah, completely. Um, I mean, so run a winning race team, you need this capability in the background. Yeah. You need to be able to react to make parts for these cars at the drop of a hat. Absolutely, you've got 10 machines here now. What kind of components are you making on these? Um, we make all weird and wonderful components in motorsport, automotive, um, down to setup equipment, wheel gun sockets, to the latest new development in uh, automotive technology. Absolutely, and talking about new developments, brand new machine tool. Yeah, yeah, so this is our newest machine, uh, to Jota, uh, Haas uh, DS30Y. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is a big dual spindle lathe with a really big size, DS30. Now, what kind of components, before you bought the machine, what kind of components were you thinking, well, we need a new machine for these components? What were they, what were you thinking? Well, it's interesting you say that, really. Um, at the time, like the machine that we were purchasing for the project we was using, we didn't really require a dual spindle at this stage, but, um, I kind of thinking forward to the future, you know, future proofing on the back of that. We've then got the dual spindle capability to align parts correctly from one face to the other. We've got the live tooling, um, radial and actual. We've also got the Y offset, um, plus or minus 50 mil in the Y. So I think there's quite a lot of stuff we can tackle on this machine. Yeah, and you're not quite using it yet though, but what I find amazing is the actual variety of machinery you have here, all house machines. You can do five axis, you can do big turning, small turning, standard three axis. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the precision of these machines as well though, because you've got some really tight tolerances. Yeah, so um, one of our new jobs that we're doing, I mean, we're working down to plus or minus seven microns in diameter. Um, yeah, as you can imagine, that's, tricky to hold that i mean temperature plays a big part in that but i'd like to think with our team here and the processes that we've de uh, designed around this is allowing us to manufacture these components holding a great cpk on the customer's requirements you can imagine the, the knock-on effects of going from one uh, one test component in a car performs one way and then the next test component if it's like the bang on the other side of the limit it might change the way the car actually exactly. performs and change Change if you're trying to make standard testing. Well, there could be that. failure as well. You know, the automotive world, it's mass, mass produced these parts. So the processes need to be, um, you know, absolutely critical that they're running efficiently and you're producing these values. That's a stable process here on the Haas DS30Y for some big OEMs here at Jota Advanced Engineering. Mm -hmm.